If you're serious about long range shooting, you need a good scale for powder measurement. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. In this video, I'm going to show you the AND FX120i, which is the most cost effective laboratory grade scale that's accurate to two hundredths of a grain. And it's also at the core of the auto trickler system from Ab McDonald, which I've recently talked about and will be featuring in a bunch of upcoming stores. So here's what we're going to do we're going to unbox the scale, see what's included do a setup and a quick demo, and then I'll be following that up with a whole bunch of other cool stores. So let's get the box open. I have not even had a look in here. I kind of like to do this, take my first look with you all. Okay, so here we go. Literature. The top plate. Got a box there. Okay. Ah, calibration weight. Looks like the cap came off of that. <laughs> okay, a bit more packaging here. Yeah, let me see if I can show you this coming out here. Okay, a little bit of silica gel in the bottom there. Oh, she's a beauty. Look at that. Okay, so this is what we've got. What I'm gonna do is take a quick look at the instruction manual. I'm gonna get things staged and I'll show you how this is put together. Okay, so here's what we have. I unpacked everything, I won't make you watch that. We've got the scale itself, the pan base in the pan. We've got a dust cover that goes over the main unit body there. We've got the instruction manual. These are wind screens, vertical supports, the lid, and the AC adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this scale together real quick. This is the base of the whole enclosure assembly. And again, this is to keep air currents from interfering with the pan and the corresponding measurements because this is such a precise scale that you have to be careful about that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this pan base down, put the pan on top of that. I already have this base ring for the wind enclosure on there. And then you just put these vertical supports in and give them a little bit of a twist, lining them up with the channel. And we're gonna keep the front open because that's where we're gonna be putting the pan in that we're measuring with the powder cup. Okay, so we're gonna put wind screens on the sides and the back, how about that? I think that will be good. Okay, and for Adam's auto trickler, the auto throw is gonna actually mount right through that hole there. So the assembly is really easy, and then uh, next we can power it on. So the power jack is around the back here. I have this plugged into AC power. Okay, when we go ahead and plug that in, our display lights up. This is not an LCD display. This is a special fluorescent display, which is extremely high contrast, as you can see. And what we're gonna need to do before we set up and calibrate the scale is get it perfectly level. And there is an integrated bubble level. Okay, so I've had this scale plugged in and it's been on for at least a half an hour. That means it's warmed up and ready to calibrate. Actually, it's not really a scale, it's technically a balance. But we all call these scales in the precision reloading world, so I will use that terminology. Now we can calibrate and there's two ways that we can do this. We can use the internal calibration routine, which is just to take everything off the pan and then to hit the cal button. And that's gonna use the internal balance to calibrate the scale. This has got the super hybrid sensor. It's, it's really sensitive, accurate, and fast scale. And it's really nice that you can do that internal calibration. But if you have an external weight, this is an ex scientific grade reference weight, 100 gram, I got this from Cambridge Environmental, which is where I get these scales. We could put this on the pan and see where we're at. And it says 100.000. Now at this level of precision, you'll notice if you bump the table or if there's any air currents, you'll see that number fluctuate. We're steady here and that's because I did a practice run on the calibration. Let me show you what that process looks like. So if you hold down the cal button, 
it's going to indicate cal out. That's the external calibration indication. Now we can actually hit sample here and it'll show us what our reference weight is and we can use different keys to increment or decrement that weight depending on which type of reference weight we have. This is 100 gram. We have 100 gram displayed. So if we hit print, it will exit that. We hit print one more time with nothing on the scale and then it stores that zero point calibration. Now it says 100, so we're going to put 100 on the scale. Then we hit print. And when it says end, we can take the calibration weight off the scale. Now we're back at zero. And if we put the weight back on, we should come to 100.000. And there we go. Okay, so now that we're warmed up and calibrated, let's actually measure some gunpowder. That's why we're here, isn't it? So I'm gonna take the calibration weight off. I've got some IMR 4350 here. This is a long stick powder. This is gonna be a good test of what kind of resolution this scale has. In other words, how much of a change can it actually measure? And what I've got here is a pan. That's from the RCBS Charge Master Lite. I'm gonna put that on the platform. I'm actually gonna switch modes here to grains since that's what we measure gunpowder with. Two modes, grams and grains, nice and simple. And if we hit re-zero here, it's just going to take off the weight from the pan itself. Now anything we put on the pan will be detected by the readout here. So I'm going to attempt <laughs> with tweezers here to grab one kernel of this IMR4350. Looks like we're at four hundredths of a grain. Let's see what happens if we put another one on here. eight hundredths of a grain. So since this can measure two hundredths of a grain, that means it could actually detect half of one of these kernels of IMR 4350 going on to the pan. And that means that for smaller stick powders like Varget, each individual kernel will be detectable to uh, an exact value here on the scale, which is just absolutely amazing. And of course, if we put uh, you know, more weight on here like we would with a charge, it's just gonna go right on up to that weight. And if you see, see how quick that is? That is absolutely amazing. It's almost instant. 34.42, a little bit more than a 223, a little less than a 308. And again, if we take another kernel here, we can see the, the balance responds to an individual kernel. These are so small I'm having trouble Picking up one. There we go. There we go. 34.42 to 34.46. So this is the instrument that I've been waiting for. And this combined with Adam's auto trickler system is the killer setup because I'm shooting longer and longer and longer ranges. Now I've got a thousand yard range set up here at the ultimate reloader outpost. I've got shot marker set up there. I'm getting down to business, but that's that's just the start of it. There is a setup here where I can go out to 1750, which is basically a mile. In fact, I think I could stretch it out to 1760, which is a mile. So things are getting extreme, and this A&D FX120i is gonna really help me get to those extreme and exacting scenarios, research projects, and shooting adventures. So. Uh, I want to make sure that you're subscribed to GavinTube with notifications because I'll have a lot more auto trickler stuff. And I'm going to use this AND FX120i to evaluate other scales as well. What about the scales that are built into the automated powder dispensers, right? Like the Frankfurt Arsenal Intel Dropper or the RCBS Charge Master and others, right? How good are they? Now I can actually detect that and I can do it quickly and efficiently. You can do really precise measurement with a balance beam, but it's very slow. This gives me the capability to have very exacting measurements for my gunpowder and other things, bullets, cases, and it's got RS-232, it's got the data output port. The auto trickler system actually integrates with the RS-232, but I could also hook this up to a computer, which will enable me to enter these values into Excel, and I'll be able to get all my statistical data, which is totally awesome. 
I'm a happy camper. And again, if you want a precision scale that's precise down to two hundredths of a grain, this is by far the best value out there. It's made in Korea. The folks at Cambridge Environmental do a great job and they have great prices. They work with Adam again on his auto trickler system. You can buy his complete package there. You can buy his upgrades on autotrickler.com. So again, make sure you subscribe to the notifications. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. There's going to be a lot more related action. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.